Well, if you're single, you've probably heard of Bumble. It's the female first social networking app that declares the hookup era, it's over. In a national survey administered last month, the app found that its users are looking to make empowered and lasting connections. Joining us live with how those connections can be made on the Bumble platform is sociologist, Dr. Jess Carboneau. Hey, doctor, how are you this morning? Good morning, JJ, I'm well, thanks, how are you? I'm great. Uh, can we talk about Bumble and why you feel it's an app for relationships as opposed to hookups? Absolutely. Well, as you mentioned, JJ, Bumble is the dating app that allows women to make the first move. Historically, men have been expected to initiate a date, pay for the date, as well as to take the lead in the relationship. But on Bumble, women really change the script by messaging first and making that first move. And we find that leads to our users really feeling empowered. 64% of our female users said they signed up for Bumble because they got to make the first move, and 71% of men said that they signed up for Bumble because they preferred that women got to make the first move. So it's really mm. influential, and it leads to 85% of our users saying that they're looking for a serious relationship, such as marriage or a boyfriend-girlfriend kind of relationship. That's so interesting. Dr. Carboneau, I always made the first move in my dating history. Always. I was like, why should I sit around and wait for him to do it? He's never going to do it. So yeah, it works. It can work. Uh, Bumble is... That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. It is different than other dating apps out there. So people have to kind of rethink the way to use it. Um, what advice do you have for people interested in how to navigate it? Absolutely. Well, as I mentioned before, Bumble obviously requires women to make the first move, and I'd like to add for your viewers that it's free, which is wonderful. Ah. But also, it goes to a larger aspect of our relationships beyond dating. Individuals can use Bumble who are looking to connect and make friends through our Bumble BFF platform, as well as business connections through our Bumble Biz platform. So it's really an app that's comprehensive and understands that people seek multiple relationships throughout their life, not just those that are romantic. So I think it's really significant for our users, especially people who are now trying to seek more friendships given that we now live in an age where loneliness is so prevalent. Isn't that strange that that's the case? But it is. Um, so hopefully we can use this app to alleviate that. Um, you did a survey. And it found that a, a lot of your users are actually looking for quality relationships. Did the survey surprise you? Well, I think what most surprised me was that the number of people who were looking for a hookup was so small compared to what the media presents as this prevalent hookup culture that we are currently inhabiting. Yeah. If you read magazines or look at television programs or look at movies, so many people are talking about the hookup. And we've known for such a long time that Bumble clearly is the app for relationships and the data obviously bear that out, but less than 3% of our users, according to the data, are seeking a hookup. So I really mm. think that this myth that people have regarding the prevalence of hookup culture just isn't really matching up with the reality of the situation. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, you talked about the media and what stories we hear from, you know, dating off your phone. And, and frankly, you know, kind of the scary or the weird stories are what get reported. Um, so in your mind, there's, there's a bit of a stigma maybe around using an app, but maybe there shouldn't be. Well, 70% of our users learn about our app through a friend or a family member, which obviously is a huge testament to the effectiveness of Bumble including also that our users are going on dates. 97% of women are messaging all of their matches. And we find that essentially one in four of our users has gone on a date in the past month. So people are clearly using the, the app and interacting with it on a regular basis. And obviously the stigma is eroding. Data from the survey I conducted, mm -hmm. as well as from the Pew Research Center, indicates that it is. And we found that only 4.2% of our female users over 40, which has largely been the group that has lar stigmatized online dating, Oh. have found that there's a stigma. So it's so small at this point, especially among our users, that I really think that the stigma is changing and really eroding in a dramatic way. Wow, super interesting. Thank you so much. Well, you know what? It never hurts to try. If you're gonna meet someone, you gotta, you gotta get out there, right? Absolutely, and go to bumble.com forward slash Dr. Jess to learn more. Thank you so much, JJ. Thank you, Dr. Jess. If 2018 is your year to meet somebody special, download the Bumble app or visit bumble.com and make that long-lasting connection. Bumble is a proud sponsor of The Morning Blend. Hey,